For over 70 years, the region was colonized by the British. Zambia became an independent country in 1964. The average African Zambian did their business on a sack in front of a store. They weren't allowed to be in the store, they had to be outside. So when the country became independent, the average Zambian didn't have any kind of economic business training. Uh, they had to learn it on the go. Since African culture was essentially tribal and community-based before colonization, many Zambians saw socialism as a return to their traditional way of life. Kenneth Kanda was head of the Socialist Party, UNIP, and was elected Zambia's first president. He soon banned all other political parties and for nearly 30 years maintained absolute power. 